Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shayna. Um, I'm still in New York and we're gonna start off this weekly vlog right now, right here. Um, I'm about to go get some food, but before I show you guys all of that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And like I told you guys, I'm dropping weekly vlogs every Friday. So I dropped, today's Saturday. Saturday, October 23rd. So I dropped the week, the last vlog yesterday. So you guys should have already seen this because it's a new week and you know, I'm about to bring you the vibes. So yeah, let's see how my day goes today. Of course, I will be bringing you guys along for my adventure. So I'll see you guys at the next location. All right guys, so first of all, let me just say I'm mad hype because yesterday I finally, it looks dark, right? I finally got my Dior glasses fixed. These glasses have been broken since April and I haven't worn them since. And I feel like these are like a perfect fall pair of shades. And I'm just really happy that now they're fixed again because are these glasses just not a moment? I feel like they go with all my outfits. Like that's why I really love them so much. So I don't know how I was living without them. Seriously. Because. Oh shit. Oh my god. The car is double parked and now a truck is trying to come down the road. And I just don't know if he's going to be able to get by. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. All right. I don't know. I might have to move the car. Hold on, wait, wait. Can he go? Can he go? Okay, he can go. I hear people leave the car double parked because then when I'm in the car, that means I got to move it. And that's so annoying. But anyway, the truck got by. But yeah, these glasses are a vibe. So... I'm so hungry guys. It is, um, at this point it's 1.44 p.m. on a Saturday. I just had to change my flight. $200 to change the flight. Oh, Jesus. The flight is gonna be, my new flight's gonna be tomorrow. I was supposed to leave tonight, but now I'm leaving tomorrow night. I was initially just gonna, um, leave tonight, but then we decided to go out today and stuff. So I'm just like, I'm gonna just stay until tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So yeah. That truck almost didn't fit. Huh? The truck almost didn't fit. I almost had to move the car. Oh, just yeah. But yeah, when I get to the brunch spot, I'll get back on the camera and show you guys what the vibe is. Service was all right. Um, they was taking a little while to get things together. Um, the food, what do you think about the food? The food is good to me. You just the picky. Food. The food was good. It was decent. But the problem I had was they brought me back my they brought my steak that I ordered, 
but it was I asked for medium well they bought me a medium rare steak so that definitely like agitated me but other than that it was a cool restaurant the french toast was really really good you didn't like the french toast though that's too much food anyway the food was good though but the french toast it's was hard to please bro with food I'm not hard to please with food listen guys trust my reviews okay uh, I would never lead you guys in the wrong direction trust me food you gotta be picky when it comes to food you can't just be eating anything okay oh you never know I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to my subscribers. Stay over there. But <laughs> yeah, guys, if you want to check it out, it is in. It's the meat packing. Yeah, meat packing. It's in the meat packing district in New York. It's called Brucherry or something. Uh, like Brucher. Yeah. So check that out. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So I just got back in the house and. I stopped vlogging from earlier because it was like a lot going on, so I really couldn't keep up with the vlog. But I went to Sephora today. This is the bag they got me. And I'm about to do like a little Sephora haul to show you guys what I got today. So I haven't went to Sephora in a little while because I don't really have to buy makeup that often because it really lasts me like a good amount of time because I don't do my makeup every day. But when I did my makeup this morning, I realized that girl was wearing out of um, foundation. So I was like, I need to make a Sephora run. So this is my receipt. <laughs> um, yeah. So first thing first, um, I got two Forever Moon candles from Jackie Ina. The flavor is called Cuffing Season. I can still kind of smell it like through the box. This candle smells fire. That's why I really wanted to get it because I was just like, this is good, it smells good. And I always wanted to get one of her candles and of course, support black businesses. I love Jackie, Jackie Ina. And apparently from what I spoke today, her candle collection seems really dope. So I'm excited to burn that candle when I get back to it. In my crib. So I also got a NARS blush. This is the NARS Orgasm, one of my favorite blushes. I already have this blush in like the travel size, but I'm like, I'm gonna use this for my makeup collection that I'm gonna keep in my bathroom. So what I wanna do is have like my makeup that's set up in my bathroom and then my makeup in my makeup bag for when I travel so that way I don't have to mix the two because sometimes it's annoying and sometimes when i do my makeup at home i forget to pack certain things like my makeup bag when i'm leaving so i decided to just get double of everything so that way i could have everything so i also got this fenty beauty lip gloss in the shade um glass slipper so uh, this is what the box looks like um i'll go inside and show you guys it's just a clear gloss I really love clear glosses like this because I just feel like it's a good topper for um, my new lipsticks just to add some gloss to my lips. I also got a beauty blender. I'm not really a big fan of the pink one. I really like the black one the best, but they didn't have it. They said they haven't actually got them in stores for a while, so I settled for the pink one. I don't. It's not like I have a huge preference, but I do feel like the black one just blends my makeup better. I don't know. Comment below if you guys use beauty blenders. I know a lot of makeup artists love the black ones as well. It's just more of like a pro tool. So I don't know if like the material is different for each color, but the black one is my favorite. But the pink one is the original beauty blender, but this is what I got today. Can you believe these little things cost $20? Like, that should be a prime. Anyway, next item I got was a, the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. So this is... Yeah, this is Mocha Mommy. I'm about to say I got the wrong color. But yeah, this is Mocha Mommy. So this is my holy grail. This is my bronzer, contour, and my eyeshadow. Like when I do my makeup, that's like what the shadow I'll put on my eyes. That's my contour, everything. So I already have this, but I had to get another one because I don't know if they're ever going to take this off the market. So I need to make sure I have it at all times. And I do believe that the one that I have now is about to hit pan. So really up on this guys if you're my complexion and even if you're not and you just want to try a good bronzer try fenty beauty bronzer i live by this this is the only bronzer i use and i feel like this is the best one that works well for my complexion i just love this contour shade as a bronzer as everything for me it's perfect so i got that 
so I also read up on my favorite foundation. Um, so this is the NARS foundation in New Caledonia. That's my shade. This is the Radiant Nowhere foundation. I've been using this foundation since 2019 and I have not went back to another foundation after this. This works for me. It looks good throughout the summer, winter. It actually looks better on me in the winter than the summer. Actually, it looks good all year round, but I just feel like my makeup always looks better in the winter. I don't know why, but that's just what I personally feel. So this is what the bottle looks like. Oh, a nice fresh bottle of foundation. My foundation, when I did my makeup this morning, I could see through it, like, so that's what I knew. I'm like, no, we gotta go to Sephora, girl. So if you guys wanna try the nice foundation, definitely get your hands on it. It's really, really good. Next up, um, the Sephora rep told me to try the Makeup by Mario collection. So this is his sculpt, soft sculpt shaping stick. So it's basically, basically a contour stick. So I've been using um, the Sephora contour stick. I bought that years ago and it still works wonders for me. I can't get this open. I'm trying to get it open to show you guys, but it's giving me a hard time and I'm not gonna break my nail for you guys. I don't wanna ruin the box. Okay, it's on this side. All right, so this is in the shade Dark Deep. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a little white bottle. Oh, very cute. So this is what the color looks like. So I'll be using this as my contour shade. This is actually darker. You can't really tell on camera, but this is darker than my skin tone. So it'll be per perfect for a contour. Um, she recommended this because she said it's a nice buttery, creamy, type of um consistency as far as the product i like stuff like that because i like contours just to blend seamlessly into my skin so i'm excited to try that next up i got this nars creamy radiant concealer so i really feel like nars products work really good together um but i like using this concealer for the summertime it's super matte so if you want to try the concealer just know you're going to get a really matte finish but this is in the shade walnut which is also the medium dark it's in the medium dark range but this is my shade as far as um concealer but if you guys are interested in trying another concealer and you don't want to spend like $25 or $28 on a concealer LA Girl Pro Concealer is just as good last up on my Sephora haul I got this Sephora Nude Lipstick. This is in the shade Perfect Nude. I used to wear this all the time in college. So when I saw it today, I'm like, girl, we need to run this back. So I got this nude lip gloss and that's about it. So that's all I got. Um, My grand total for everything was $320 at Sephora. <laughs> that was a lot, but I'm about to smell this candle real quick. Because I just want to show you guys how cute the candle is. So, once again, this is the box for the packaging. A really beautiful Jackie you did your thing. And this is how the candle looks. I love this. And the smell. I'm putting this in my bathroom. I already know. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like certain scents belong in the bathroom and other scents belong in you know other areas of the home but this right here fire I think I'm gonna keep <laughs> this smells so good all right i recommend getting the cuffing season forever move let me know if you guys get it tag me on instagram i'm telling you guys this scent for the bathroom, it's like a, okay, I don't know if they have notes on it, they do. So it's um, a fresh ozone, ozone, salty lemon, mineral citrus, iris violet jasmine with um, Douglas fir, rainforest moss, and white cedar. Guys, I don't know what all that means. <laughs> but what I do know, I'm about to smell it again, is that it smells fire, okay? Like, this smells really, really good. It's like a fresh, airy scent. But I'm going to let you guys know. I'm about to get ready to 
lay myself down. I've been, I was walking around the city all day, like a real New Yorker. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm about to just end my night. It is, what time is it? It's 11.40 p.m. Tomorrow my flight leaves at 8.30 p.m. So I will be back in Atlanta. So if I don't pick up the camera tomorrow before I leave, I will see you guys in Atlanta. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Sephora haul. And make sure you guys try some of the items that I recommended. And if you do, just tag me because I would love to see what you guys think about them. It is the day after. Um, I did not vlog yesterday when I got back to Atlanta. And I did not vlog all day today. But today is Monday. Happy Monday. Um, today was such a hectic day for me because as you guys know, I was in New York for like majority of last week. So I had to just get the show back on the road out here in Atlanta. I look crazy. I just literally just got in the house. Um, but yeah, I basically just had to do a bunch of phone meetings today and just you know get everything together with my team as you guys i know this is a very peak season for small businesses business not even small businesses businesses in general black friday is a few weeks away november is approaching so it's time to buckle down and get these black friday deals and everything planned out so that's what i took my time to do all day today so i didn't even have no time to pick up the camera from the moment i woke up opened up my eyes i just hopped in the shower brushed my teeth went to pick up packages went to get stuff shipped out orders planned out all the content for black friday planned out the prices for the sale like guys my hair sale is about to blow your mind seriously um, and I'm trying to still figure out what I'm going to do for Renee as far as the sale. But I'm really just taking my time to just do all those out, crunch the numbers, do all those things. Because this is going to be pretty much, I think, the last sale for the year. But um, I just got a shipment of some new arrivals. But I'm probably going to take some pictures in tomorrow for content on my Instagram. So this is one item right here. It is basically a hound tooth flannel. Of course my camera is dying right now. Um, when I want to show you guys this outfit. Let me see if I can show this to you guys before my camera dies. So, you can't really get the vision right now. But, hold on. Ooh, I plan on wearing this with some black leather pants. With it like open, with a black top underneath it in my shark boots and the back has like this fringe detail which i think is really really cute it's an oversized vibe so i just think this is a really cute fall vibe you really can't see the full look of it under with this outfit underneath but it has the fringing detail all throughout the sleeves so i think it's really really cute my camera's about to die so i really can't get into all the details and the material is really thick but make sure you guys are following me on Instagram so you guys can see the pictures when they post. So I'm just trying to do more full streetwear looks. And I think this is like the perfect vibe for that. If you guys can see how that looks. And I'm going to pull out the other item. But I'm going to turn off the camera real quick so it don't die. Hold on. Okay guys. So the second item is going to be this super cute crop top with this fringing detail oh my god this is gonna be so cute so i know you guys were saying that she wanted some type of graphic tees so i was able to find these like on my vendor sites and i really really think this is cute and different so i need to find a really cute look for this to really blow your mind but yeah this is the second item like i told you guys my camera's dying so it might die at any given moment but these were two of the new arrival pieces that came in from my boutique so these will be posted at you guys new arrivals very very soon so look out for that make sure you guys are subscribed to my website for all updates so i'm about to get out of here because i gotta go charge my camera so maybe we could check in a little bit later
Happy Tuesday, it's your girl Shayna Renee and we're back for another, I don't know why I'm doing my intro, but happy Tuesday guys. So right now, I'm actually in one of the pieces that I showed you guys yesterday that came in for Shop for NYC. I'm in the Speed Racer Graphic Tee. Um, this is the look, so I have on the t-shirt with these jeans. And these heels, this is the look for today. I'm actually getting some pictures taken, so you guys will probably see this up on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I also have on my JBW watch. Really, really cute. Bling, bling. We love to see it. Um, again, I just have on this other bracelet accessory. This is a bangle I had got from my aunt. It looks crazy right now because it's not on properly but that's what i have on for my accessories and my cross chain that i always wear oh i'm showing y'all my mess as you guys know i just came in two days ago okay so your girl didn't unpack or nothing yet so yeah this is today's fit i think it's really cute and fun with the bottega shoes the mesh or whatever bottegas you will call these with the boot cut jeans with the slit on the side and a fun tee like i really love this shirt like it's really giving a vibe so i'm actually about to change out of this outfit into another outfit for my second set of photos so i'm just getting all the renee content that i could possibly get today today's tuesday so i turned today into a content day but i just really love this part of the top right here like i think this is super cute and fun and i haven't seen anything like this on anybody else's site so I hope you guys like it and it is longer in the back like the fringing thing so it's super super cute and you could definitely play around with this look in a bunch of different ways so i hope you guys like this fit you guys can shop this outfit it's going to be listed below for you guys to shop well the shirt the pants are zara so yeah i'll see you guys when i put on my second outfit okay guys this is outfit number two with the flannel i'm wearing a black bodysuit. you guys really can't tell my lighting sucks let me see if i could set it up a different way but i'm wearing the flannel with my shark boots this is such a cute look and i paired it with this louis vuitton bag that i haven't actually worn in a super long time but i don't know if it's too much with the prints but I think it looks good together. Like, I don't know. Like, you guys comment below and let me know what you think. But this is the second outfit option. Like I told you guys, I'm trying to give more streetwear cute vibes. And I think this is nailing it. Like, I would definitely wear this to lunch, dinner, you know, a cute date. Like, how cute is this outfit? Like, I love how I just have it just off my shoulders. But, of course, I'm going to take the pictures in a different way. But it's so cute. Let me cut the camera down so you guys can get better lighting. So I have it paired with the um, risque shorts that are on my website. So I'm gonna show you. Like this is how the shorts look. Okay, this is how it looks. So they are super see-through, but like I told you guys, if you wear black underwear um, or like a black bodysuit, like you'll be fine. So yeah, this is the jacket. You guys see the vibe? Like it's so cute. This is such a cute look. And flannels are definitely trending right now, but I, it's something about houndstooth print that I really like. So I'm about to go take these pictures. The camera's like leaning. I didn't even notice, but yeah. Comment below if you guys like this look. If you guys like this houndstooth print flannel you guys can shop it below this is one of my favorites 
All right, guys, so this is the last outfit. I only had three that came in today, so I decided to just shoot them right away. This noise is so annoying. But anyway, this is a Slick Life Rick set in black. I had dropped this one in white on my, I think my two blocks. At this point, when you guys see this video, it'll be two blocks ago when I dropped the white set. So I love this little cut side detail. And this material is pretty see-through. You guys can see like the emblem on my bra. But it's cool. It's really cute. It's super comfortable. And I paired it with my Rick Owen sneakers. Let me show you guys the details. Yeah, really cute. So this is perfect for like a little chill vibe. The lighting is horrible right now. Like you guys can't even really get the full detail. But yeah guys, I'm gonna just go get these pictures taken and this is the last outfit and then probably get back on the camera a little bit later. Just so we could check in. This is the second day of the week. Not much has been happening. Okay, the lighting is good here. I did my makeup this morning. I used that new Mario contour on my makeup today i don't know how do we feel about it i didn't feel like it was dark enough but i do feel like it still looks pretty good but i'll still think about it i'm gonna try it out one more time because the thing is i put the contour and i still do a powdered contour over it so i want to see how it looks without me intensifying it with the powdered contour so let's see but let me head back to take the rest of the pictures i don't want to get distracted because I'm pretty much almost done um, and I still have to put the items up on the website. I don't know why it looks so dark like the lighting I, I, don't, I might have to fix my camera settings because it's like really dark right now but I'm putting on MAC lipstick in Cream de Nude. It's my lipstick for today. Um, so yeah I'm gonna just get the rest of these pictures taken and then yeah, then we could like check them out when I'm done. The, uh, listen guys, let me tell you something right now. The construction that's going on, going on outside my window, I think I like Midtown, but I don't know how much longer I can stay here for because I thought I wanted city vibes and I thought I wanted city noise. This is too much, like, especially with me having to record and wanting to record, it gets really annoying hearing all this noise. And I didn't know all this construction would be going on. It's just annoying, so. And then the lighting on this camera. Um, today is not a good recording day. I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to find better lighting. This is cool. I don't know what's happening today. Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's my little cousin's birthday. Happy birthday, Jada, if you're watching this. Um, tonight, we're actually going to get dinner. She doesn't know that I'm coming, though. Um, this is my outfit for the day. Full look by Zara. Sneakers, Nike Dunks. Um, yes, yeah, actually a full Zara look. The tank is from Zara. Pants, Zara. Jacket, Zara. Yeah, cute. Um, this lighting is not good, so let me I'm gonna turn around. But before I do, I'm just going to show you guys, obviously, my office space. If you guys keep up with my vlogs, you remember how hard I worked on my wallpaper wall. This office is beautiful as far as like the windows and the view and the lighting and then this mirrored wall. Really, really cute. Um, this was my desk. Well, I'm saying was because I'll be moved out of here pretty soon. I, the racks that I had in here have already been moved to another location. I just have to move my shutter printer and my filing cabinet the, and the, you know, the remaining little things that are in here. Um, yeah, so I'll be saying goodbye to this office space, unfortunately, but whatever, things happen, you know, the guy, the owner of this place did me dirty, okay, he did me dirty, but it's cool, I'm gonna find a much better place, but for right now, I just have to make things work in the meantime, because I'm just not finding anything that I like, so it is what it is, but yeah, I gotta take this sign off the wall but i need to do this another day when somebody can help me because i do not want to break it. it is connected with velcro and that sign is super super thin so i don't want to break it but yeah i'm just giving you guys a little walk through this is the front door 
so when you come in this is the wall and then it was just like this little space that is somebody's desk that is my desk um and then it had like the racks against the wall with all the inventory here i used to have a whiteboard up right here that i would write like the goals for the week and stuff like that on that board but yeah so i'm getting ready to leave to go get dinner for jada's birthday and i just before i left the office because i don't know if i'm coming back here for the rest of the week so i'm like let me show you guys my office space i haven't really been like in a vlogging mood this week i'm not even gonna lie to you guys because i've just been trying to like focus and just work um as i showed you guys yesterday new arrivals hit the website so make sure you guys check those out if you haven't already um i've just been prepping for black friday so i really haven't had much to vlog about or show you guys because i really just been really just working like literally working like not really doing much so i don't i would like to try to still have this vlog up by friday but if it's not enough footage i'll just make it like a two-part vlog and then upload it next week friday but i don't know let's see what happens um yeah like nothing has really been going on i mean i'll be traveling out of the country in a month so i hope you guys are well i'm letting you guys know that now so that way you guys can look forward to an upcoming travel vlog so like in the meantime like throughout this month it'll just be mainly like working vlogs i'll probably do like a um a few videos of me getting ready for like the holidays like putting up my christmas tree doing holiday decor things like that because you know i do want to have my holiday decor done before i head out of the country yeah, because I'm leaving November, the end of November. So, yeah, it's a lot happening, a lot coming up. So, I'm just trying to stay focused and just work to just have everything, like, just flow before I leave. And this is why I was really upset about, you know, having to get out this office space because um, I'm going out the country. So, it's like I'm not going to be here, at like, after Black Friday. So, I just had to get things situated before I left so that way everybody that I work with already knows like how to handle things while I'm gone so that's just what I'm doing like guys it's not easy it's a lot going on but as always I'm gonna get through it and figure it out so enough of me babbling I just came on here just to update you guys on like what's been going on and I don't know why like the lighting still looks super dark like I don't know if I have to change the mode of my camera or if the lighting is just not good in here. I don't know what it is. I might have to change the mode. Like if I do that, it gets lighter, then it gets dark again. I don't know y'all, but I'm gonna see you guys in a few. Okay, so I had to change the setting because now this looks so much brighter and way better. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, sorry for the dark footage before. Sometimes with these cameras, you really have to pay attention to the settings that it's on because that plays a part. So I just had to fix the settings, but now I know. So now I know, and I'll do better.
Sunday. So I didn't vlog or post a video this Friday. I just wanted to come on camera and let you guys know why. I just wasn't in the mood, respectfully. I wasn't in the mood. It was that time of the month, so I just, you know, was just trying to PMS in private. So I just wanted to come on the camera and say hey. And I'm gonna just show you guys my Sunday dinner. I'm about to plate it, but I'm actually just gonna continue this vlog and then just post it next week. So that way it could be just, be just one long vlog. But yeah, I just wasn't in the mood to vlog. And I didn't want to come on camera and then give you guys that energy or just record random things just to make a vlog happen. You know, I like to give you guys, you know, pretty good content. So I just wasn't in the mood to vlog. And it's Sunday, October 31st, it's Halloween. I'm in the house. I did not do anything this weekend pertaining to Halloween because I just wasn't in the mood like I, in the beginning of the month i was like super excited for halloween i'm like oh my god i want to dress up i want to have a costume i want to do all this all that and then every all the plans were super last minute and i don't really like last minute stuff especially when i want to celebrate with my friends in new york they don't understand that your girl got to fly from atlanta to new york they don't understand that so that's cool i'm gonna just stay in my house so i just stayed in the house and i just made some floors made some lamb chops the macaroni and cheese and broccolini so i'm gonna plate it and show it to you guys because it looks really really good but um new month tomorrow new goals so i hope everybody's ready for november november is about to be a very action-packed month with black friday i'll be traveling at the end of the month your girl's excited travel vlogs is coming so i'm really really excited so we about to you know be lit for november so yeah let me show you guys my food all right guys so this is my plate we have lamb chops with mac and cheese and broccolini looking really really good hey guys so i feel like i've just been so busy and it's like i've abandoned you guys and that's not my intention i've just been like i said really busy trying to situate a few things um since i'm back in new york for a few weeks I decided just to focus more just like organizing my apartment um so that's what i've been doing so i actually just came back from walmart and i see everybody's on like they're organizing stuff so i'm like you know what shayna it's time to grow up and really start organizing your crib so i actually found these today at walmart this is the better home and gardens so these are like storage containers and Hello? Yes, thank you. Yeah, so basically, I've been meaning to get these for a while because the way my cabinet is, is just like this, those wire shelves. So sometimes things fall through the cracks and stuff like that, and it's just a hot mess. So I actually got some, um, I'll show you guys. I got something like this from Home Good. Um, when I went the other day, like I got a bunch of these like little draw stuff, but this one, it's like it's not coming apart, like it's not you know, separating. Oh, it's starting to separate. The other day it was not. Oh shit! The other day it was not separating, so today it's actually behaving. So that's good. Hopefully I can get this out. But I got two of these, and I got a couple smaller ones, and then I got. Some other storage containers from Ikea too. When I just went to Walmart, I saw these. So I'm going to open it on camera so you guys can see. Oh, perfect. So they finally opened. I got two of these just to put different stuff in. And I'm going to actually get some for my fridge as well. So, yeah, guys. Your girl is trying to get organized and just get this apartment together. Because one thing I would say, like, you know, I did live in a two bedroom where I had extra space. So it's like I didn't feel the need to be super organized but now that i'm like limited on space i want to organize a little bit more hold on all right guys so these are what the containers look like i'm about to take it off the box so you guys can see more in detail what it's given so this one only comes at three so this has this 
probably like the medium size ones. Yeah. So two different sizes. Look how this one looks. And it has like an easy unlock feel. Just pop it off just like that. Put it right back on to lock it. Another one, this one's like a smaller one. So I don't know what I'll put in this small one yet. But we don't figure it out. So it's a smaller one. And you guys can see like how it looks compared to the bigger one. And one more. I think this is the biggest one. The third one that comes with it, and I'll show you guys how this looks in comparison to the medium one. And I can probably show you guys the small one too. So, yeah, three of these really cute. I'm about to figure out what I'm gonna put inside of them and just start organizing my pantry because it looks crazy. So, one thing I would say, I was really inspired by a lot of you girls on YouTube. You know, organizing your life, you know, the yeah, it was a heart pantry inside me. So I'm like, all right, we gotta get on this and stop playing. So I'm about to start doing that. And I'm actually about to get some paintings put up as well. So I'm gonna show you guys that when it's all done. Alright guys, so this is what my pantry looks like right now. Do not judge me. It's a hot mess and I don't know when you guys will see the after, but the after will be coming eventually. So once it's all done, just remember what this looks like when I show you guys how it looks at the end. garden room but who knows what's gonna end up happening i just want to show you guys my outfit real quick before i leave out because i'm not going to vlog oh yeah i'm just wearing a turtleneck it's cold out here so i'm putting on a turtleneck with this polka dot skirt polka dot skirt that i had from zara from ages ago but I didn't have anything to wear, so I just literally didn't do anything. So I'm actually rushing to get out the house, so I'm not bringing my camera, so I'll try to vlog a little bit on my phone when I get to the spot. Um, I haven't been vlogging the way I should for you guys, and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to get better, okay? I should have known better. On a brain, on a time. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, what time is it? Oh, it's 12.30, good afternoon, happy Friday. So today is going to be the last day of me recording for this very choppy vlog. But your girl has just been all over the place. I've just been trying to get like um, a few things done. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. And I just needed like a mental break, like... I was so overwhelmed last week. I have a lot of things coming up, so I'm just trying to like plan out my life accordingly. Um, like I told you guys in the previous clips, I will be traveling at the end of the month, so I'm just trying to make sure everything is, is like situated before I leave because I'll be gone for a pretty long time. Like this is my first time traveling for this long of a time, so I'll give you guys more details about where I'm going in the next vlog because then that will be more of like me starting to prepare more for that trip. But I'm actually about to head to my old building because I had a um, PR package for a brand deal get delivered there. I worked with this company before Cozy Earth, but this is like right before I moved and they shipped everything to me. So now I'm working with them again for a Black Friday campaign. And I guess they, I, I didn't update my address with them and they never asked, so it kind of slipped my mind. So the management team at the old building called me telling me I had a package from them. So I'm just like, oh shit, I gotta go get that. 
And I also have to get a PR, not a PR, a package from my P.O. box, any returns that possibly came in. But I know somebody sent me a jacket from their brand, a fur coat. So I'm super excited because that's going to be perfect for my trip. And it goes with like the vibe I'm going for. So I'm hoping it looks good when I get it. I'll show you guys and let you guys know all about the brand. Um, so today's Friday, so today I'll be editing this vlog and hopefully I can get it up for you guys. A lot of you guys have been DMing me on Instagram, like, girl, where's the vlog? Are you okay? Where have you been? We didn't get a vlog last week. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I just needed a moment. Like, and I didn't really fit, I wasn't really picking up the camera like that, so I didn't want to give you guys, like, a 15-minute vlog. Like, you guys know I'm not really into that. So I wanted to still try to add different things to it. But my camera this week, like, it kept running out of memory. And I was just like too lazy to go through it and like delete. So that's why. But I'm about to go run those errands and I'll probably just bring you guys along with me for whatever else I have to do today. Um so yeah, I'm about to eat this applesauce and drive to do what I have to do. Um, how do you guys eat applesauce? Sometimes I eat it with a spoon or sometimes I just like slurp it. Like that. <laughs> but um let me head out of here because I have to actually come back on this side to get some work done. So I'm going to pick up the camera and actually update you guys on how my day is going. Alright guys, so I got my package from the leasing office and now I just got to the post office. So I'm about to go see what's in there for me. Um, well, I know it's a jacket, but I just want to see if anybody returned any items. I don't really get much returns, honestly, at all. Like... Honestly, with like a whole month of sales, I'll probably have like two exchanges or like stuff like that. So that's pretty good. That means the items fit people well. So I really like the quality. So let me run in there real quick and then I'll head out. And then we're going to unbox the items when I get home. Because I know you guys want to see what I have. Um, I have to figure out how I want to do this Cozy Earth sponsorship thing. Like they send me sheets and stuff like that. But I really want to revamp my bedroom. But I just don't know exactly how I want to do everything yet. But I do know I want to start putting up my Christmas tree and my decorations this week. That's coming up. Because it's Christmas now. Like, it's it's Christmas. Then on the 25th, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Then it's Christmas again. So, you know, we got to get in that spirit. And since I will be out of town, I want to enjoy my Christmas tree while I'm here. You know? So... We'll probably do that this weekend so i'll probably vlog that if i have someone to help me do it because my tree is super big so that's gonna be a project hey guys so i'm back in the house and i'm actually just making some new real quick um for myself because i just had a pretty hectic day and i did not cook or anything in this pot this is too high i need to turn it down because boiling over but yeah um just making some noodles right now and of course you gotta add your extra seasonings in your noodles you can't just use the packet like no if you're only using the packet for your noodles i don't know what you're doing because that is not the way to make noodles y'all you have to add extra seasonings so i didn't even get to show you guys the things that came in the mail I'm just gonna show you guys the one item that I got gifted from this girl because it's super super cute. I'm gonna save the um cozy earth stuff for the sponsorship because yeah, that's all they're getting for me. But I'm about to eat these noodles and start editing this vlog. It's Friday, so you guys probably won't get this vlog today because I've just been pretty like backed up. For the day so i wasn't even able to like you know edit and stuff so the climb call so yeah first things first sorry i have my headphones in somebody was calling me so i had to decline it to show you guys this jacket but this is the bag that it came in it came in a little coat bag like this and I'm so excited because this is going to be perfect for my trip. Um, so you guys will see the full look on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at underscore Shannon Renee. So you guys can see the full look. So this is the fur. Oh my God. Isn't she so cute? Super, super, super soft. It's a cropped fur. 
and like I said, it's gonna be per per perfect for my trip. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna tag her on my Instagram when I do wear the coat. So if you guys wanna know more about this company, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you guys can see more details on this coat. But I love it, it's so soft. I love fur, so I'm from New York. It's, I don't know if it's a New York thing, but I love me a good fur. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog off here because as you guys know, like I told you guys earlier, this vlog was super choppy, but I promise to do better next week for you guys for the other vlogs and for all the other upcoming vlogs that I will have coming for you guys. Trust me, the vlogs and the content that's coming up, it's gonna be worth it. You guys are gonna love it. Trust me, because I'm really excited for all that. But I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have all my information listed down below. Shop my boutique. Shop my hair company. All that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.